Well, there's a new workshop at Soul Trex on the windward side. It teaches you the healing power and properties of Hawaiian plants. Malika is live in Kaneo here with more. Good morning, Malika. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I'm learning how these native plants can help us to survive. So Leia's here, and you're the one that has been telling me about all of this. You're a homana of um, learning about healing plants. So tell me, how does knowing about plants and their properties help us to survive in the wilderness? In the wilderness. Well, um, as a parent and as a tutu and as a student and a cultural um, being involved in cultural healing arts what I decided to do is focus my research on the propagation and conservation of our medicinal plants. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors were amazing at survival and um, not ever having to leave their home, their islands. So what I've done is taken into aquaponics, a system that is self-sustainable and that we can use in our homes and our own backyards, which as a Lomi Lomi practitioner makes easy access to our plants to make oils with, easy access to our medicinal plants, um, to make medicine for my family. Okay, so, so why don't we go specifically? So we've got this one right here, what do we have? Okay, in this barrel, this is cinder. We have comfrey, which is an introduced plant. This one is uhaloa. The uhaloa is good for sore throat. The comfrey is a regenerative herb. It helps with, yeah, this one, skin, healing of skin, tissue, and bone. How would you get that out? Well, there's many different ways. You can use the plants, you can use cocoa, which is um, actually using the blood of the plant, and that's putting it in like a strainer and straining it. Uh -huh. the, um, you can use the inner bark of the uhaloa for making tea or just chewing on it for sore throat. Um, you can make poultices, you can make tinctures. Um, Lots of ways. Yeah. There's, <laughs> um, this plant is the Olena plant, mm -hmm. and this plant is used, um, it makes a beautiful plant dye, which I'll show you in a bit. And it's also our plant that it overall strengthens our body, our body systems, yeah. And if you look at the plant, the, um, the darker the orange, that means the stronger the medicine, the mana of the plant. Oh, okay, and you know what we did earlier, guys, is we actually pounded it out, strained it, and this can be used not only for medicine, but for art as well. You can paint the dye onto things and um, make things, and this is a traditional way. I'm not very good at it, obviously. She's made tea out of the olena, uh -huh. and what else? Avapuhi, ginger and lemongrass. Okay, and these scones were made out of other healing properties. What, yes. what am I gonna get out of this? Oh, goodness. Well, this one um, is high in fiber. We have laukahi seed in there. The laukahi seed is over here. Mm -hmm. The popola berry is in that also. Mm -hmm. And we have um, organic lemon and... Um, and mila. how's it gonna help me? Mila. So besides it being great fiber, um, it will strengthen actually overall body overall. all the systems awesome yeah. thank you so much lay for teaching me about plants stick around in our next segment we're going to make fire you're watching sunrise on hawaii news now